Some big news from MG Motor Europe today. The announcement of two new all-electric models, the MG Marvel R and the MG5 Electric for the European market. That's right, MG announced two new models today. Before I get into that, MG Motor Europe are the ones making the announcement today. It's a slightly separate business unit to the one that operates in the UK. So it might be a little bit longer before we'll see these vehicles in the UK, sadly. Hopefully MG Motor UK won't be far behind and they're planning to bring these to us though, because they look pretty fantastic. First up is the MG Marvel R a high-tech, luxurious lifestyle SUV for the C segment. MG Europe's senior PR manager seems very excited about it. More important though is the new progressive and smart design, which makes the Marvel R Electric very attractive. I dare to say that MG Marvel R Electric has sex appeal. Okay, maybe he's a little bit too excited, but let's take a look at it, shall we? It's impressive looking, but does the specification stand up? I reckon it does, you know. Quoting a fair bit from the press release here, but let's check it out. With a range of over 400 kilometers WLTP, Marvel R Electric offers a great peace of mind while drivers can count on quick charging capability at a public charging point due to the 11 kilowatt onboard three phase charger. The battery is also suitable for fast charging on DC to fill it up to 80% in just 30 minutes. Meanwhile, the climate control with an internal heat pump guarantees optimal charging performance at low temperatures. Another striking feature of the MG Marvel R Electric is the V2L system, vehicle to load. This technology allows the lithium ion battery to supply energy to an external electrical system, for example, an air pump electric scooter, a laptop, or even another battery electric vehicle. This technology is considered as an important innovation for the clean energy transition and last mile solution. The MG Marvel R Electric not only exudes power, but also lives up to it with its performance. The drive technology uses an advanced all wheel drive system with three electric motors, one on the front axle and two on the rear. The vehicle boasts a maximum output of 212 kilowatts 288 PS with a 665 Newton meter peak torque. This allows it not to 50 kilometers an hour in just 1.8 seconds and not to 100 in just 4.9 seconds. It's pretty quick. Top speed is limited at 200 kilometers an hour. And it will also be offered in a rear wheel drive configuration with two electric motors at the back. This sounds like pretty impressive stuff to me. The maximum towing weight now there's an interesting one, it's 750 kilograms. The car is suitable for towing a trailer or caravan or two e-bikes on a special bicycle carrier, for example. The luggage compartment offers a volume of 357 litres and with the rear seat folded down, that increases to 1,396 litres. The rear wheel drive version actually has 150 litres under the hood, also known as a frunk. Furthermore, customers can count on a large number of active safety systems under the name of MG Pilot, as with the ZSEV and the HS plug-in hybrid. So it's quite interesting that we're making a big deal here of bringing MG Pilot to the Marvel R. And I think that that bodes well for future NCAP results as well, because the ZSEV obviously is a five-star car because it has all the driver safety stuff on board. So it's pretty good. It's impressive stuff, I think. 
The boot doesn't seem massive compared by the size of the car though. I mean, this is a pretty big car. It's certainly bigger than the ZS, but the boot isn't that big. But it certainly looks like a step up in terms of design and refinement here. There's no information on pricing yet, of course. So time will tell how it fares in that department. But I'm guessing it'll be keen. What do you think? Is a Marvel R going to tempt you away from what you're currently driving at the moment? Or perhaps what you're looking to buy in the near future, if you were maybe thinking about buying something along these kind of lines, an SUV type vehicle, but a bit more expensive, maybe you know the Mustang Mach-E, Audi e-tron, would the MG tempt you away as a bit of a slightly cheaper offering, assuming it will be? I don't know. But it certainly seems quite impressive from a specification point of view, doesn't it? That bit increased range over the current offerings combined with uh, what sounds like pretty staggering performance. Sounds pretty good to me. Next up, the MG5 electric. You might be thinking, I'm sure they already sell that. And yeah, you're right, there is an MG5 model currently offered in the UK that's not actually offered anywhere else in Europe, just in the UK. I've always thought it was a little bit rushed to market for whatever reason they wanted to get it out here as quick as they could and certain things feel a little bit rushed about it. I mean, you only need to look at the are, are they, aren't they load-bearing roof rails and if you haven't seen my previous videos about that, you might want to check those out. Or the lack of the driver assistance stuff and there's no MG Pilot here. So it was a very different offering to the market than the ZS EV and it always seemed a little bit out of place to me. Enter then the new MG5 electric model that is to be released in Europe in October 2021. Let's take a look at it. Styling-wise, it's definitely there, I think. It's a vast improvement over the UK MG5. Much more up-to-date looking, I reckon. Even the wheels look better, right? And the wheels are definitely a bone of contention for a lot of uh, people looking at the MG5. I know there's optional wheels that make it look a little bit better, but the, the standard ones aren't the nicest, are they? But how does the equipment and specifications stack up? And again, quoting largely from the press release. We're looking at a 400 kilometer WLTP range 135 kilowatt motor is 184 PS, pretty brisk, and 280 newton meters of torque. Also, again, we're, we're, we're talking about quick charging capability with three phase 11 kilowatt AC and DC charging up to 80% in just 30 minutes. Now, that suggests to me that we're see, going to see a bit quicker charging capability on the, these new models, both the Marvel and the MG5 than what we've got on the, the ZS EV and the, the UK MG5 at the moment. Because these both have bigger batteries than the current offerings and yet they're claiming to be able to charge on DC faster. I think the inclusion of three phase AC is quite interesting too. I'm led to believe it's more common in Europe for households to have three phase at home than it is in the UK. Uh, so that might mean that having a 11 kilowatt onboard charging might mean you can, you, you can get a faster charge on AC should you not be able to get to a rapid and I think that more cars coming with that here in the UK would be a good thing too and it might prolong the uh, 22 kilowatt AC rapid charging or so-called rapid charging that Zoe owners are so reliant on if we have more cars that can charge at 11 or faster then there'll be more incentive to keep those maintained so that could be a good thing in the long run and again we're quoting a maximum towing weight here of 500 kilograms for this, the MG5 and a roof load of 75 kilograms. Interesting that these are actually specifically being called out now. Fully in line with the practical and functional character of a station wagon. The MG5 electric is therefore suitable for a bicycle carrier or a roof box. Pretty sure we said that in the UK, but okay. So key features then again, 400 kilometer WLTP range, 578 litre boot, very, uh, the boot size, I guess, is exactly the same as the UK MG5, 135 kilowatt motor, 3.4 seconds not to 50 kilometers an hour, 8.3 to 100 kilometers an hour. That sounds very similar to the, the MG5 that we know and love in the UK. 11 kilowatt three-phase charger, 30 minutes to 80% on DC, 
500 kilogram towing capacity, 75 kilogram roof load, and perhaps one of the bigger changes here, as well as the styling, MG Pilot um, with advanced driver assistance systems, which we do not have on the UK MG5, and I think would definitely be a big uh, plus point to add that on. And again, we've got the vehicle to load, uh, 2.5 kilowatt power supply for external usage. There's definitely there's an important asterisk against the towing capacity and roof load ratings here in this press release. It says the specifications will be confirmed based on the modulation figures. So time will tell what's going to happen there, I think, with the, the towing and the roof load. But it definitely sounds like an improvement over the current model. If it actually releases with that towing capacity and the kind of range that they're mentioning here, I think they'll sell tons of them, as long as the price is right. And I find the vehicle to load stuff quite interesting too. The idea of being able to power mains appliances like the Honda E-Can with its three pin socket on board, as well as potentially charge other EVs to get them out of trouble. That sounds very interesting. Let me know what you think. Will you now hold off on buying an MG5 till this new model arrives? Of course, at the moment, we've got no idea if it's gonna to come to the UK or not. And if it does, it might be a little while longer yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.